Well, welcome back. Before we go this evening, just a personal message from me. We've been talking about it for a couple weeks or so, but today is actually my last day here at KQ2. I'll be leaving for an opportunity that came up outside of TV down at the KU Health System, so I'll be going there. But it has been 18 years here. It was definitely not an easy decision to make, mostly because of people here at the station and, and for you out there as well. Uh, thanks to all of you for allowing me to come into your homes over the years. It's been a privilege and an honor to be uh, standing here at this desk, sitting here and, and giving you all the news. It's also been great meeting all of you who I come across, whether it's at the, the grocery store, at the hardware store, wherever it's been, it's always been nice saying hi. Uh, St. Joseph, my adopted hometown, no plans to be moving away anytime soon, so I'll stay here. But little did I know when I came to St. Joseph all those years ago, it would be a community here that uh, I'd come to love. So thanks again for that. And thanks again for you two who've been ridden through most of it <laughs> with me here. Uh, Mike, it's been fun. Yeah, you know, we've had fun. It's, you, you know, the people that are sitting out there, uh, you know, watching us, uh, they don't really understand what goes on behind the scenes and what really <laughs> happens as we are talking in between commercials and the friendships that you yep. get, you well, know, and it's, yes. and it's really kind of a, a, a neat thing that you can sit there and you, it just feels comfortable whenever we're all on the, uh, on the, on the desk together. And of course, Alan, what's that? We have a little surprise for you, too. No, we do not. Yes, well, what we is do. That? Well, let's roll the footage oh, no. and see what it is. Alan Van Zandt, it's been a long time that you've been here and working with us. I can safely say you will be missed by your coworkers, by the station, by the viewers, and by so many people in this community. Really appreciate all the times that you champion causes, always champion something that's good for St. Joseph. Uh, so thank you for everything that you've done for our city and continuing the philanthropic work that you've done. I have enjoyed working with you over the years while you've been covering city news. I can only remember a couple of tents. Alan, what are you doing moments? It has been awesome working with you over the years. One of my favorite memories of you is when we both deployed to hurricane relief as a part of the American Red Cross in 2004. So that's been a minute ago. Alan, it's not too late to change your mind. Uh, you've been there a long time and that's not a joke about your age. I know Mike Brasiano's had to been there much longer because he is really old. Hey Alan, just wanted to say thank you for all of your great dedication to, uh, to media in St. Joseph, always being a trusted voice and personally really enjoyed our interview time on Live at Five. Uh, you were always great with me and appreciate you taking the time. We've also done some, uh, some off-site interviews as well. And I know that uh, the folks at Corby Dog Park, I think that's one of your favorite places in St. Joseph. I know those, those people will miss seeing you there every day. The thing that I probably will miss the most is on his birthday his mom always sends cupcakes and I won't be here for cupcakes Alan won't be here for cupcakes so Alan uh, congratulations uh, thank you very much for um, all of the um, opportunities that you've given uh, the people of St. Joseph and surrounding area to, to bring you into our family rooms you know every evening we just want to say best wishes on behalf of the school district and we wish you the greatest as you enter a new chapter of your life. We just want to thank you so much for the positive coverage and the fair and balanced way that you've handled issues that the school district has been dealing with. I actually was going back through our text message thread which starts in about 2015 and I think we knew each other even before then. But one thing stood out, you asked me one Sunday afternoon when I was with the school district if you could interview me and I thought about it and the only reason I said yes is because you asked me because you've always been fair you've always wanted both sides of the story and I've always appreciated that because in the day of get the story online first you took the time to know all the details of we appreciate all your coverages that you've had at the courthouse we appreciate all that you've done for this community good luck for it to you and at KU Med Center and we wish you well and uh, come see us anytime uh, we'll miss you in this community, but I look forward to seeing what lies ahead for you. Congratulations and best of luck. Well, we're going to miss you, Alan, Mr. Van Zant. Good luck to you in your future endeavors. So enjoy your new opportunity and good luck. Really appreciate your interest, your professionalism, and I know you'll do great in your new role. Alan, I wish you the best of luck. I know that everything is going to work out great for you. And the last thing is Rock Chalk Jayhawk. KU. We thank Alan for everything that he's done in our community. I think that's uh, 
something that's an understatement, uh, whether it was Rotary Club uh, or just being involved um, for charity. Um, Alan was there uh, helping our community, and thank you, and best of luck to you. Thank you for your dedication, for everything you've done for the station over the years, but mostly for all of the great memories. Best wishes, congratulations, and P.S. There is life after television. I know that for sure. Good luck to you, and thank you for always just being you. I wish you all the happiness in the world in your new capacity with communications at KU Med Center. I know it's going to be a fantastic fit. Um, and if we ever need to catch up, we're literally right around the corner from each other. So best of everything, Alan. Wow, who would have thought? Wow, Alan. When I came in 2004, and I wasn't even planning on ever being on the air. I was going to be have an off-camera role mm -hmm. in the newsroom, and then got sent out on a story two days in, did my first five interview, and here you are. 18 years later. You well, will be missed, Alan. Well, thank we, you. We thank really you are going to miss sure. you. For sure. And thank you as well. Appreciate it. Now, we're coming back, but we're going to be on late tonight. We've got NBA basketball on tonight, so we'll see you after that.